Hiya, gang. Hi, 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 It's me, Dusty the Dust Mite. Come on in. Hope you don't mind the mess. Hey, can I offer you a snack? All right, so from that introduction, you can see we got quite a surprise waiting for us. This is a Johnson Ranger that was recently acquired from a swap meet, and it looks like it's full of cool surprises. Let's open it up and see what's inside. All right, here we go. We'll open her up. First thing that caught my eye is the lovely power cord. Obviously, there's no way to power it up before we test, but probably not a good idea until we see what's going on inside. There is some kind of a big woolly booger right behind this control. And yeah, she is full of all kinds of goodies. Now, I have the wind going that away, so this crap won't blow on me. You guys get to see it for yourself before I do any cleanup. I have a camera. I'm going to shoot some internals on this thing, give you some nice close-ups before it's all gone. Oh yeah, isn't that nice? So it appears as though this Ranger had a kitty kitty that would lay on top of it and absorb the heat. A lot of this looks like cat hair and just general dust. It's kind of amazing because all of this had to come in through the perforated metal cabinet. There's not a lot going on in the cabinet itself. It appears the top of the chassis took all the damage. So I'm going to sweep this close up and then we'll take a look underside and then I'm going to clean it. Okay, I've completed my top side sweep with the other video camera. Let's take a look now at the bottom. Remember, you were seeing this as I see it. Actually, the bottom doesn't look too bad. And guess what? This is a factory built unit. All right, so in a second, we're going to blast this out with an air compressor and see how clean the chassis is underneath all that grunge. But if you take a look right there, there's an ice cube relay. So at one time, somebody installed push to talk into the dust mite infested Ranger. All right, at this point, we're going to blow it out with my air corn presser. We're going to start with the back. And then I'll turn it sideways and you can see it all in action. And believe me, I'm downwind. So here's a close-up of the chassis after all the hair and dirt is removed and I guess I misspoke when I was blowing it out guys I would say I was upwind not downwind good thing huh all right I've got her blown out doesn't look too bad now I think this chassis will actually clean right up so the next thing I'm gonna do is cut off this whole power cord we're going to bring it up on the Variac and just see if there's any signs of life. 
hopefully it's restorable. All right, so at this point, I'm gonna do a controlled power up using a Variac. I'm gonna be monitoring the high voltage on this meter. I'm only gonna bring it up enough to see things light and see the presence of any high voltage and we're gonna shut her down. Okay, I've killed the lights for this test so I can detect any arcing and sparking. The meter is set for DC volts looking right off of the high voltage filter cap and we are in standby. So I'm going to bring up the Variac slowly and watch the current. Hard to tell from this angle if I have any dial lights, but look, got high voltage already. And yes, I do see the dial lights in the VFO glowing away. So guess what? I betcha that this is a very restorable Ranger. All right, so good deal for the old Dusty Ranger, but bad deal for Dusty the Dust Mite because he just got evicted from his home. Hiya gang, hiya hiya hiya, it's me Dusty the Dust Mite. Come on in, hope you don't mind the mess. Hey, can I offer you a snack? <laughs>